One of the things I've been doing for many years is a lot of research, and I'm, I always equate that to profitability. So, obviously, uh, the application of phosphorus and, and potassium, uh, I want to find out what kind of return on investment that I was getting. So for many, many years, I was just buying fertilizer and I was a no-tiller. And so I just spread it on top of the ground. Didn't think too much about it. Everybody had done it. But every time I'd come to yield check it that following fall, I'd maybe spend 50 bucks for fertilizer and I might get $25 worth of grain. Or I'd spend $100 for fertilizer and get $50 worth of grain. And I'm like, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And so I was questioning whether or not I really needed the, the fertilizer. And then going to conferences, people talking about stratification. Well, been no-telling for 20, 30 years, 40 years. And you get to thinking about it, well, phosphorus doesn't move very far in the soil and neither does potassium. So the majority of what I was sprinkling on top was just staying on top and the earthworms are trying to move it down and the corn plants and you could go on forever but the fact of the matter is corn roots were sucking it out of the soil profile faster than i could get it to move and, and replenish so we took soil probes and we probed uh, eight inches deep and then we used to do it every two inches and we looked at stratification. Sure enough, um, about 47% of the phosphorus, 44% of the potassium is right in the top two inches. And, and that's the aha moment because during the summer when the corn plant needs phosphorus, potassium, well, during its entire life, uh, and it gets dry, the top two inches of the soil profile dries out. Well, you gotta have moisture to get the nutrients to move. And so, almost half of my fertilizers in dry soil and corn roots grow down not up and so i'm i'm missing the boat um, and and so the corn plant suffered uh, because of it and as you move on down you know uh, less than 20 percent of it in the next two inches the next two inches the next two inches so i, I actually my fertilizer um, i was using the right rates but i just wasn't when putting it in the right place. And so that's almost more important is, is where you put the fertilizer, not necessarily how much you buy. And so then we went and, and you can go to our website and you can get the actual numbers on stratification. So our new philosophy now is that we're working on ways of being the root zone band uh, the nutrients and as you can see in this little hole that we dug here um, it's it's eight inches deep and so whether you're strip tilling or whether you buy a root zone bander or or maybe you're a conventional farmer but we take the nutrients and somehow start to place them down here in the soil profile and you can see all these corn roots and so that way, the next growing season now, the nutrients are below the corn plant, not above the corn plant. So to summarize, my statement would be, if I'm looking for an economic advantage, I sprinkle it on top, I'm gonna to struggle to get a good return on investment. If I take my fertilizer and I sprinkle it out or incorporate it or root zone band it or strip till it and I put it below the corn plant, I've got a much better chance of being profitable with it. So surface applied, going to struggle for a return on investment. Soil incorporated, soil applied, I got a great chance for a return on investment. We need phosphorus and potassium, but I need to get a return on investment.